Hello. Welcome to Empowering Women Executives. I want to give you a little bit of introduction in terms of who I am. I'm Rita Maselli. My background is, is in change management. Actually, my PhD is in change management, but I've done a lot of work with leadership. And my passion is helping other women succeed. Welcome to our channel. Today, I'm going to give you three questions to answer that will allow you to see, allow you to find out if you suffer from imposter syndrome. And if you do, then you can join us for other videos that we'll have on how to deal with it, how to get rid of it, how to empower yourself so that you don't have to fall under the, you know, the, the, the negative effects of imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is the feeling that even though you might be successful because there's proof that you've succeeded, that inside you feel that you are not competent for whatever position that you have. It's also the fear that eventually people will find out how incompetent you are. Okay, so you would say, well, why do we really need to deal with that? If a person is competent and successful, eventually those, those doubts about their competency is going to disappear. Well, actually it doesn't work that way. It doesn't seem to be that way. It seems that it doesn't matter how many times you succeed, the feeling of being a fraud or the feeling of people finding out that you're incompetent stays with you and it might actually get worse. Here are three questions that I want you to consider when you're trying to figure out if you have, if you suffer from imposter syndrome or not. Question number one. Question number one. Question number one, are you an, a workaholic? Let me say that again. Question number one, are you a workaholic? Now, what I mean by workaholic is, do you work because you feel you have to work? Not because you love the work that you do, but because working gives you value. Do you set very high goals for yourself? Maybe too high and then often you don't succeed. The more you don't succeed, the more you think you're a fraud. Are you able, are you um, able to accept your achievements? Or do you have a tendency to mi minimize them and say, well, it's about, you know, I was just lucky or I worked so hard, that's why. So, are you a workaholic? Question number two, are you a perfectionist? Is setting very high goals for yourself. Being very sensitive to criticism, even constructive criticism. Idealizing other people as being so much smarter than you. Magnifying your own mistakes. Never being satisfied with the results that you get. You always feel that you could have done better. And actually, actually, never being satisfied with the results that you get. You always feel that you could have done better. And actually, Actually, perfectionists are basically always looking at what they did not do well rather than what they did do well. That's what they remember, what they didn't do well. Are you a perfectionist? Question number three, are you a go it aloneer? That means do you prefer to do things alone? Do you feel that you can succeed alone? Do you also feel that if you ask for help, people are going to think that you don't know what you're doing? 
or that they might, dis they might discover defects that you have? Do you believe that working alone is the only way for you to succeed? Okay, so are you a, a do it aloneer? If you believe that you have imposter syndrome, because you answered yes three times, then I would say we have great news for you. Imposter syndrome can be improved. It might even be, it can be improved. It might even be, it, you might even be able to eliminate it. In other words, we can fix that there. What we have to do is find out exactly how you feel and then come up with ways to change how you feel from a negative to a positive. And that's it for today. If you feel that this video was of use to you, it was of value to you, then please like it and share it with your friends. And to make sure that you don't miss our weekly videos, please subscribe to Empowering Women Executives Rita Maselli, and that way we will make sure that we meet on a weekly basis to learn more about how you can become a more empowered, bold, and successful professional woman. Thank you for being with us today. Until next time.